What is going on guys? I'm Mr. Kilicopter. I'm going to be um, doing a remake of my previous video. The one that was about pure, how to get pure BD craft for Feed the Beast Unleash. I am going to be, re I'm remaking this video because I really messed up in the previous video. I mean there was double video, there was double audio. You guys were getting kind of annoyed by it. I was getting annoyed by it. So yeah, what better not just to remake the whole video instead of trying to fix it when I couldn't really fix it or well, I could only do like temporary stuff so here's the first download you want to do here it is you go to the plain bdcraft.net very simple and easy and you this is just normal vanilla um, textures you're going to see the 1.72 you don't want to download this because this is the one mistakes I did because I was it's just the first thing I saw I was like alright there it goes but feed the beast unleashed is not 1.7.2 it's actually 1.2 5.2. That means you guys scroll down all the way to older downloads and go to 1.5.2. You can get all the or whatever your computer is best with. You can even go to 512 all the way to 32. I don't think there's a 16 by 16 um in the unleashed, but I know you can do 32 all the way up to 512. So I'm gonna get the 64 bit because that's what my computer is good with. Now if lights gonna pop up. Five, four, three, two, normal ad fly stuff. Alright, cool. Skip ad. And it downloads automatically. I'm gonna close that out. All these um links are gonna be in the description below just so you don't have to worry about copying and I don't I don't really know, I forgot what it's called. So the second um download you wanna do is the just to feed the beast yeah just to feed the beast pack this is going to have all the feed the beast um ultimate well the older ones yeah the feed the beast ultimate textures and this one is just a base or a core texture pack for anything that has to do with feed the beast you go into the alternate location and it's going to take you to media fire and you're just going to hit download very easy stuff all right so the final the last but not least um download is from bdcraft.com. All these are from bdcraft. If you can't click the link for some reason, you just go bdcraft and find these there. It's very, it's fun and easy to do. So let's read this right here. You see, Feed the Beast Unleashed, and it says, Currently, this is only an update to the downloads. The entire post will be rewritten in the near future. That pretty much just states that this is an update, so that's why we had to download, or download the core mod before we, or, whoa, um, that means we have to download the core um, Feed the Beast Ultimate textures before we can download the Feed the Beast Unleashed textures. If that makes sense. So I'm going to go down here. You can get 128. Actually, yeah, you can get 128 and um, 64. And if you did download the 512 and 256 and 32, you can get those here. But I'm going to get these because these are updated more. So you're going to download this. And this is going to be a bigger download than the other ones, but it's okay because it's not, it's not too big and it should go fairly fast depending on your Wi-Fi. Alright, so those are all the downloads out of the way. Now it's opening them and putting them into the files, right? So you're going to just take, drag them off your dock. Make sure you know which is which. Like this is the Feed the Beast one, this is the vanilla Minecraft one. And this last one is the Feed the Beast Unleashed. Whoops. Can't. Make sure you don't do that. Don't click it too fast. Alright, so here they go. Make sure you know which zip file is which. So you're gonna unzip all of these. If they wanna unzip, alright, there he goes. So once you have all these files unzipped, you're going to open them. Make sure you know which is which. This is the normal. Minecraft one, and this is the normal Feed the Beast one. You're going to highlight that, just drag it over swiftly and everything, nice and swiftly. Alright, so you hit don't replace, because you don't really want it to replace anything that you need. Alright, so you have armor left, that's okay. Close that out, you don't need this anymore, you're done with that. Now you get the Feed the Beast Unleashed. This is just the Unleash Edition. It's not much, not many files, but they are important. You still drag that over, apply to all, don't replace. It's 
gonna look all messy just like this, but it's okay. You can just hit clean up. All right, so here you go. Right here is your texture pack. Now let's put that to the test to see if it actually works. So I got Feed the Beast Unleashed already open. It's in the default um, texture pack. Open texture pack file, open texture pack folder, and it's going to add, whoops, I got to rename this because it's going to replace my previous ones. So I'm going to hit remake just for the sake of the video. All right. So there you go. Got to look for the rema. Yep, remake. Good. Got to double tap that. It's going to take a little bit, but it's okay. It has to just retexturize everything. All right, so here you go. You got this fax background. That's good news. And everything's working fine on the menu so far. All right, so now let's look at the game. So let's go into New World. This is just a texture pack world, so nothing's in it except for flowers and trees and stuff like that. Oh, and a bonus chest. I love bonus chests. All right, it spawned me in this world. So far, everything looks facts and pure bd crafted which is very good news i'm at spawn and as you can see my materials in you the tinker construct mod is all faxified i'm not gonna move because i have experience um feed the beast unleashed crashing on me a lot which gets really annoying so um i don't know if it's i don't think it's a texture pack i'm almost positive it's not a texture pack i think it's just my computer kind of being slow and stuff so let's, I'm gonna move around. It's not really that laggy. It's just, that's one reason I stopped playing Feed the Beast Unleashed is it just crashes on things. But I, when I was doing some texture pack tests just to make sure this texture pack worked and stuff, I did find if you right click with like a blue bell or like any item, like say if I right click that chest with a blue bell, it would most likely crash the game. So I wouldn't recommend that for if you had a computer like mine. But if your computer can handle it, that is good news because you just, you can play and do whatever you want, which is good stuff. Alright, so you can see most of, or everything so far is, has facts in the chest, all the vanilla stuff, and even the Feed the Beast Unleashed. So let's go through this menu. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Alright, needs to load all the items, all 94 items. And just let so you guys know, not every item is um, textured. Whoops. What was that? Can I? Alright, it's kind of being weird right now, so I can't show you all the items. Maybe if I type it, like, say, I don't even, I don't really play this. So I hit J-E, and you can tell that all these have facts on it, which is very good. Good news. Or if I hit B-E, I don't even know what I'm typing. Okay, that doesn't work. Or batter. See, this all has facts on it, which is good stuff. So, there you go. There's the How to Get Facts Pure BD Craft for Feed the Beast Unleashed. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please check out my other episodes, my Let's Play, my Portal 2, my Co-op or Co-op Portal 2. And if um, you have any constructive criticism, put it in the comments below. If you have any questions on the video, I will most likely answer it unless if it's kind of offensive or some but um until next time this is mr kilocopter signing off goodbye